Draymond Green has been doing the dirty work for the Golden State Warriors for more than a decade now and has been pretty good at it, being one of the key players for the team that has won four NBA championships since he has been in the league. However, sometimes Green crosses the line, and the last such case happened in a recent game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. At the very beginning of the game, before any of the teams even scored, Clay Thompson and Jaden McDaniels got into an altercation, and Green used the opportunity to put Rudy Gobert in a headlock. Many NBA fans find it difficult to understand how a fight can break out before anything happens in the game. But if you think for a minute, it is obvious that this incident goes way back. So in this video, we will get into the details and see what actually led Green to attack Gobert in such manner. Both Green and Gobert are known as defensive specialists, and the league has recognized them for their work. The Warriors forward won the Defensive Player of the Year award in 2017, while Gobert, who played for the Utah Jazz at the time, finished second in the voting. Both players take a lot of pride in their defensive game, so that race lit things up between them. The same year, the Warriors and the Jazz collided in the second round of the playoffs, with Golden State sweeping the Jazz in four games. Green and Gobert went against each other in that series, but as the Warriors were very dominant, things didn't escalate between them. The following season, Green had a couple of hard fouls on Gobert, but the Frenchman did not respond to that. Gobert won the Defensive Player of the Year award that season, while Green finished sixth in the voting. Both of them had a good start to the 2018-19 season, and Gobert expected to finally make his first All-Star appearance. He led the league in win shares, 8.9, and field goal percentage, 65%, while averaging 15 points and 12.8 rebounds a game for the Jazz. He also had an NBA-best 6.1 screen assist per game, but was still not named among the All-Star reserves. That didn't sit well with Gobert who missed out on a $1 million bonus, and he burst into tears during an interview. Uh, sorry. Green, who was also snubbed from the All-Star game that year, made fun of Gobert by tweeting, I guess I should cry too. No, Charlotte? Gobert did not respond to Green's troll, but the fans certainly did. One of those tweets said, like you cried in the parking lot for KD? Whoever is behind this tweet referred to Green's meeting with Kevin Durant at the parking lot after Golden State barely defeated the Oklahoma City Thunder in the 2016 Western Conference Finals when Green recruited KD to join the Warriors, which he eventually did. It was this whole narrative of like, you call Kevin and you call Kevin crying from the parking lot. I'm like, yo, this shit can be like y'all added a theatrical sense to make this shit a movie. Like what makes this tweet significant is the fact that Gobert actually liked the tweet. Gobert was asked by the media for Green's tweet, and he responded, As long as he doesn't post anything on Snapchat, we are good. Referring to Green's accidental explicit post from a few years back. That season. The Warriors lost to the Toronto Raptors in the NBA Finals. Gobert repeated as the Defensive Player of the Year, and Green again finished sixth in voting. The beef between the two settled down for a while, and we all forgot about it. The two were again in a tight race for the Defensive Player of the Year award in 2021, with Gobert winning his third one while Green finishing in third place. Gobert is usually a quiet guy, focused on basketball, and even though he put a target on his back with an infamous interview right before he became the first NBA player infected by COVID-19, which resulted in shutting down the league, he is out of the media radar most of the time. The same cannot be said for Green, who enjoys the attention and is often speaking on podcasts and doesn't hesitate to express his opinion. In 2022, in a TNT interview, when Green was asked about a potential all-star snub, he said, one thing I can assure you, if I didn't make it this year, I wasn't going to cry. Oh, I mean, you can't cry, Chuck. I said it then, I'm going to say it now. I got killed yeah. on Twitter then. I'll yeah. probably get killed today, no, but you, you can't right. cry. No. He reminded us all that Gobert cried when he failed to make the All-Star, and things were cooking again. The Wolves center, Carl Anthony Towns, was also involved in the feud after he posted that it's a championship or bust year for the Timberwolves. 
and Green responded with many smiling emojis. Green also found himself on the wrong side of the troll after he punched Jordan Poole during a Warriors practice when Gobert tweeted, Insecurity is always loud. Shortly after, when the Timberwolves visited the Warriors, Gobert elbowed Green, and it seems like Green could not wait to get him back. In the last regular season game, Gobert got into a fight with his teammate Kyle Anderson in front of everybody, and Green could not wait to return the favor and tweet the same. So the last incident was just the boiling point of the hatred these two players had for each other for years. It was quite obvious that Green was just waiting for a reason to attack Gobert, and this altercation seemed like a perfect opportunity that Green could not miss. Green, Thompson, and McDaniels were ejected from the game. When asked about the incident, Gobert said that it was clown behavior from Green and stated that he does not want to play without Steph Curry, who was sidelined with an injury. Looking at the facts, Green was ejected 18 times in his career, and in 11 of those games, Curry did not play. Green was suspended for five games for his actions, and even Warriors coach Steve Kerr called the suspension deserved. So it was definitely an ugly event, but at the same time, it adds some fuel to the competitiveness that sometimes lacks, especially in the regular season. Knowing the history of Green and Gobert, we can assume that their war is not over yet.